How's it going, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Getting Jiggly With It. I'm Will, and today we're opening up another game that we're going to be playing on Theme Park Week. Uh, we already opened up Fun Fair, which you can see over here to the side, and we will also be opening up Meeple Land to play them live for you on the channel. Uh, so what this is, this is Danger Park. This is a game by Story Machine Games, which unfortunately did close down shop due to the current world situation. Hopefully they come back soon, uh, but we did buy this when it was on sale on their website. Uh, I didn't check, unfortunately, before this opening to see if they are still uh, selling off their stock on their website, uh, but you can go ahead and check it out. I believe it's storymachinegames.com. Uh, it is a game by Jono Naito, Ben Sabine, with art by Moi Shin Hung. Two to four players, 45 to 60 minutes, and ages 13 plus. Of course, to get the difficulty, don't usually go by that. Go online, check Board Game Geek, because uh, a lot of times this has to do with the small parts. Uh, and then there is the back of the box, which I forgot to show you guys on the other one. You do get a nice game tray, so everybody likes that game trays. Let's go ahead and get inside of here to see how this is different than Fun Fair. So the main difference between this and Fun Fair, of course, uh, in Fun Fair, you are just building out a tableau of cards. Uh, there's no direct interaction with your opponents. Uh, and then you are trying to build a good park. While in Danger Park, you're trying to keep your park from getting shut down or having all of your people get sick. Uh, so here's your rule book. Uh, nice, beautiful art. Very distinct here, telling you what's going on. Uh, go through the things, build rides, uh, take improvements, roll dice. Uh, so a lot of people don't like the rolling dice, so this one does have a rolling dice, a little bit of a luck mechanism. Uh, you have different types of meeples. Uh, you have your regular meeples, you have your sick meeples, and you have your group of meeples. Uh, examples of movement, basically when you're building out the park and everybody's sharing the same park, uh, the meeples and the, and the basically your patrons, right? People come to the park and want to go to different uh, areas. Uh, there is your dice. Uh, incidents, right? Closing a rides or if uh, people get injured. Policies, basically you have to take out a lot of insurance policies. Why? Uh, because your park is not safe and that's not very good. Uh, and then here is, of course, showing you the game tray inserts, where everything goes. Uh, and it's nice here, too. They have the game tray insert is actually part of the actual game itself. Appendix, which is nice. You got some questions what's going on. Credits and an example turn. So that's really nice, too. Shows you the steps for an example or for the first turn, maybe, of the game. Uh, so we'll go ahead and look in here. Uh, look at the game trays. We'll get all the little pieces out. Uh, so we got some standees here for the... Um, entrances. These are our cards. These are our danger park improvements. Policies. A uh, bunch of uh, what are these? Eight-sided die. Eight-sided die. A bunch of baggies. We like free baggies. Uh, and then our game tray inserts and all of our punch-out stuff. So this is the uh, part of the game that you build off of. So the game trades you get to use for, for building the game. Uh, let's get the rest of the things out. There's nothing else in the box, as you can see. Let's get you up there. So some of the copies I saw people play online were the prototypes. I think I've seen one, one version like this with the actual components. Uh, but these are the dangers. So each one of the uh, park tiles, and we'll go through those, have a particular danger that can occur to them. So these are those dangers that can occur. So yeah, we'll always pop out. Like, oh, these pop out real nice. Nice pop outs, love nice pop outs. I don't feel any hanging. Don't have to worry about tearing it. Uh, you do have some dollar dollar bills. Let's go ahead and uh, let's throw those up in there. I don't know where they belong. We got some threes, we'll put some of them up in there. Uh, ones, we only have three ones. Maybe one of the other ones has. All right, we'll, we'll throw the ones in there too. Uh, and then these are the, uh, Concession boots. I don't know what to call these. Not the not the concession boot. These are the concessions where you buy things. These are the, the ticket boots, the ticket windows, right? To go into the ride. Uh, and then they slide one in here, maybe. Maybe. There we go. So all right, so that is that one. Uh, I grabbed two of these things. I guess we put them both in the things. There we go. So that's that. Uh, there are the things that I punched out on that one. So we get, okay, so we get three more dollars, a bunch more threes, more hazards, uh, more ticket windows, and more stop signs. I don't know what the stop signs are. Oh, the stop signs are to block the paths. That's right, now I remember. So I guess in trash, you have a dirty park. 
uh, throw up, a mechanical failure. Uh, I'm not sure what that one is. It really isn't. Got a little dot in the back. Lightning. I wonder if you choose. Okay, so it's two sided. Okay, so you have infestation. You have an oil leak. You have an electrical failure. Um, you have some kind of blob. You have the blob. The blob is coming to your park and taking over. <laughs> um, all right, so more, okay, so here's the rest of the ones. You get a bunch more runs, a bunch more tins. Uh, the first player marker. That's nice. Nice for a player marker. Admit one. And then you get the header board, which I guess we'll go ahead and throw up here, although I kind of got it off camera now. Let me bring this back down a little bit. Goes over there. Put that like there. And then there's supposed to be things that go in here. Uh, maybe they're in here. Oh, here they are. Okay. I think they're in this bag. So these are the meeples. So you have, like I mentioned, you have three types of people that are going to come visit your park. You're going to have, that was, that was, that was stupid, Will. <laughs> oh, I just ripped that bag open. <laughs> oh, well. Good thing we have extra bags. I don't know why I did that either. I was just, I was like, rip. <laughs> All right, so you have the regular, the regular people. So these are your regular patrons. They, they you know, they count as one. Uh, and then if you get, I think it's five in one spot, then they turn into a super meeple. Um, and so there's a couple super meeples. So these count as five. Uh, the difference is singles can still move individually, but once they clump up, then they all go together to the next uh, person's park. Uh, and then this right here, okay, that's right. This is for when a uh, patron leaves the park, then they go up here to the top to come back. And then this is the, I guess it's not really, it looks like the death counter, but anytime a ride closes down or there is a uh, death, this counter goes up, uh, up the little trail there. And then these ones are the, uh, sick, sick, sick patrons, sick people, sick uh, customers. Although, I mean, I get the sick, right? But it, it's a mechanic in the game, right? A lot of rides are gonna make people sick. It's a reason I don't ride amusement mar amusement rides. I get, uh, you know, car sick and stuff like that. Like if I'm reading or something, normally in a car, I have to be the one driving or, or in the front seat. Uh, I, it's that control thing. Uh, I don't like that feeling of being out of control, plus the uh, what is it? Equilibrium. I'm trying to think what it is. It's it's something with the the way your your brain works while there's motion going on, right? It doesn't auto adjust or something. And what's bad? I used to be able to read as a kid in the car, and then all of a sudden one time, no more. Uh, but yeah, you get sick. You get the <laughs> they get uh, upset stomachs. Uh, they uh, unfortunately throw up and vomit in your park, and of course, too much vomit is bad in your park. So therefore, you know, you got to close down your attraction. You get, uh, let's see, so here are the dice. So these are used to take your actions. So basically when in action, you roll the dice to see uh, how many patrons are going to move around or what's gonna happen in that particular spot. Some nice dice there. And then we'll go through the cards, I guess. Uh, if I can get into them. Where's the little thingy thing? Where is the opening thingy? Oh, yeah. All right, there we go. I like it when they open easy. Don't like it when they don't open easy because I forget to bring a knife every single time. One of these days I will buy a nice board game knife to open things and hopefully not cut myself. Um, so here we go. So these are the policies. You have major policies, minor policies. Uh, basically, whenever your park shuts down, uh, you can get a minor policy. The major policy is at the beginning of the game and it's kind of like a, what you're working for. So it says, keep this card when the park is five rides tall, discard this to gain uh, six money. So this kind of gives you an objective to try to follow uh, because the park can grow any direction as much as you want or at least as much as your table allows. So this would encourage you to build uh, vertically instead of horizontally. Uh, keep this. Uh, when a park row, except the first row, is five cards wide, so it's very similar. You get wide. Uh, keep this when there's five, six, uh, five, six meeples on a ride. So basically, you turn these in to get the money uh, whenever these occur uh, with the major ones, and then the minor ones are when you um, when your your ride gets shut down, then you get these. So for example, here it says, keep this card when a ride closes uh, due to 
a black square. I'm, I'm not sure what that is, but it says return this to gain uh, three money. Uh, maybe that's closes due to, okay, so closes due to, uh, yeah, so there's different shapes. Okay, so there's round ones, triangle ones, and uh, this, uh, yeah, and then there's some square ones. Okay, so basically if it closes due to a square one, closes due to a triangle one, uh, closes due to an octagon, uh, closes due to a circle. So basically if it closes due to that reason, then you can trade this in. So basically it's kind of like, you think about it, right? Insurance fraud. Uh, you basically get this insurance policy, something happens to your park, and you're basically claiming the insurance policy to get some money. Uh, that's how those uh, <laughs> those old janky parks run, right? They basically, they run until they get reported on the news <laughs> and are forced to shut down. Oh, I don't think this one's gonna do right. No Dudley do right. I got it right here though. Come on, come on, come on. Nope, that's not gonna happen. Right here? Nope, that's not gonna happen. Right here? Yeah, that's gonna happen. All right. Whew. So that's why I said sometimes there's little peely things on these work. Sometimes they don't. It's just it's it's hit and miss, hit and miss. So these are the Danger Park improvement cards. So when you draw your park, oh, more more cellophane. Leave me. Uh, when you draw the park that you're going to upgrade, you also get to draw one of these improvements. Uh, so these are going to improve uh, your park. So new and improved complementary lard. <laughs> okay, so add one, I guess like complementary lard. So I guess that's lard or some kind of maybe food uh, to each ride in a column or row. Uh, all meeples exit a ride with that limit two jars per customer. Um, so it looks like maybe there's multiple uh, fake celebrity sighting. Add a um, group meeple to a ride you do not own. I'm pretty sure it was Abraham Lincoln. Uh, Hindenburg balloon. So lots of different things. You add different things to the different um, rides because you want to be able to force people out of your uh, opponent's rides and into yours. That way, right, you can get some additional money. So electric interns, safety drill, all group meeples exit all rides. Wow. Uh, please pretend everything is going wrong. Uh, Taco Tuesday. So yeah, so lots of lots of different ones. So lots of variety here. It looks like we do have to shuffle them because they're you know the same ones are together. Uh, false advertising, coupon day, hospital discount, add three sick to the park entrance. So basically at the park entrance, if they end up here at the park entrance, then on the person's turn, they get to bring them down and distribute them uh, evenly on the first row. Um, so that means that that would come back and hit somebody on the follow-up follow -up turn. No Bueno Boulevard. Draw four improvements, give each player uh, one of them, and use them now in turn order. Do not move the incident marker because of those cards. Okay, so that, that's just gonna cause some issues. And then glass bottle toss. I have an, oh, wait a minute, glass bottle toss. So instead of you tossing something, a ring at the glass bottle, you're actually tossing the glass bottle. That does not seem very safe. Does not seem safe at all. All right, so now I gotta get into this last one. It does not have one of those peely things. So we're gonna see if I can accomplish this. Do I have enough of a nail? Yes, I had just enough of a nail. They're getting about that point where I gotta trim them again, so you never know. All right, there you go. So you do get player aids. Uh, so here are your player aids. So these are the different things that can happen. So you have these and these, and then here it is. So it's showing you these count as this, this, so on those cards, so it's actually a diamond, not a square. Okay. I uh, don't know what these symbols mean. It doesn't tell you that. Uh, danger color acts as both above danger types. Uh, danger, injure, block, money, group, single, sick. And there we go. So turn, you build a ride, you take an improvement, you roll the dice uh, to see uh, for your own rides in any order. And then you gain money for the patrons uh, on your rides and patrons re-enter the park. So we'll put that over there and then we'll go through some of the rides. So on the rides it's two side. You have the ride closed side. Um, so it's beautiful, beautiful art. I like that. <laughs> really nice looking art. Uh, and then they have on both sides they are going to have these arrows. That says where the patrons are going to go because even if it's closed they can still kind of pass through that. Uh, I really don't want to know what happened to the amphitheater. It looks like it's on fire or the smoke machine or is that lava? 
I don't know. It's, yeah, it's, it's oh, it got sliced in half. <laughs> so the 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 laser light show in the <laughs> cut the thing in half. Uh, your haunted house. All right, so we got them closed. Um, so yeah, I think in one of the prototypes they just say closed, but it actually looks like they went a step further and actually made the uh, destroyed rides on the back, which I think is a really nice touch. Uh, and then so here we go. So you have your ride. Uh, this shows the danger that occurs. So when you play this card, it already gets at that danger. Uh, and then before rolling, you gain one dollar for each um, of the little gear icons. Um, so it's basically take your chances. How far can you go to get this money uh, before the ride shuts down? Uh, and this one's got that splat symbol, um, whirly bird. So I'm guessing that's maybe that's the throw up symbol. Uh, especially since you consider it's right next to the burger place, right? Uh, you probably shouldn't go on an amusement ride after you eat. Uh, dead end hedge maze, so there's actually no way out of the maze. Uh, tower, a Ferris wheel, so the gravy train, so that's that lard, I guess. Uh, unstoppable bumper cars. <laughs> uh, second swing ship, nightmare kids boat adventure. It's it's a nightmare and for kids. Okay. Uh, methane inflated obstacle course. <laughs> Uh, oily teacups, uh, carpet statics. I wasn't going to go through all these, but I like reading what they are. Junkyard go-karts. Uh, actually, are the, how do the go-karts look? Eh, they don't look like they're junkyard. I think those could those could hang out of it. Uh, dropped tower. Uh, termite infested roller coaster. And it's a wood. It's one of those old wood <laughs> roller coaster. Uh, bat mountain. The real bats. Uh, the stomach rotator. Uh, lightning madness. Oh, and they're using uh, solar power. And then it's just like, it's an electrical... What in the world? There's no there's no top. Do you just come all the way up and then it has you go back down, I guess? Wow. Uh, head scrambler. A uh, full launcher. Oh, okay, it's attached to bungee cords. Uh, farewell falls. Uh, sticky wall slam. Maggot manor. <laughs> uh, Alpine slide of doom. The Grave Pool, uh, Tetanus Twister, uh, Spewo Vision, uh, Reflection Misdirection. So the whole thing is just a bunch of, uh, okay, so it's a bunch, it's a mirror house. It's one of those uh, mirror houses. Uh, very, very Flammable Hayride, Cholesterol Corral, Whiplash Carousel, The Cannonball Shoot, Prehistoric Peril with Real Velociraptors. <laughs> He took it to terror and the memory wipe light show. Okay, so yeah, the light show slashed him and, and the laser light show slashed it in half. That's what it looked like. It looked like, first it looked like lava, but then it was like, okay, no, it just got cut in half. But there you go, guys. That is uh, the unboxing of, hang on, it's all for picture. There you go. Danger Park. Uh, if you want to watch his gameplay as well as the other two theme park gameplays that we're going to play this week, uh, make sure you hit that like, subscribe, bell notification, and the little reminder button over on the scheduled video once we get that up. Uh, if you want to watch us play any other theme park games, give us your suggestions down below so we know which ones to look out for. Until next time, guys. Peace.